Mike. Hey, Anthony, how do you how do you handle the mixture of you know, disappointments and uh, in the end, and especially the way that you guys go out uh, relative to you know the way the season went, where you were in February, what you have potentially building? And how is that? How is that something that's going to stick with you either tonight or as you think about it moving forward? Um, obviously, it hurts right now. Uh, especially the way, you know, we lost not only tonight, but, you know, I think we gave away two games, three games, and then we had tonight and, you know, game two and three as well. Um, you know, it's just tough. I mean, you know, credit to Denver, obviously. They're a great ball club, uh, number one team for a reason. Um, you know, their players play well, um, you know, throughout the entire series. Um, but it's tough. Hurts, stinks, and uh, we got to carry it into the next season. You know, you know, keep this feeling, remember this feeling, and uh, use it as use it as fuel uh, coming to next year. BT, sorry, Anthony, you guys talked about the zero point three percent chance of making it to the playoffs. You made it, but now that you've lost and have been swept, what does this season mean to you? to this team to get to this point, even though you lost it? Honestly, I haven't even thought about it. Um, I mean, obviously, we know where you know we started beginning of the year um, and where we got to, but uh, that definitely wasn't you know um, the end goal for us. Uh, don't really do you know moral victories or anything like that. You know, we play the to win championships. Um, you know, obviously came up short, you know, right there on the fence. Um, so it's tough, but, um, you know, that's some, you know, as the days go on, weeks go on, you kind of, you know, think about it and kind of talk about it from there. Dan. Eddie, um, <clears throat> LeBron told us that, that you and him talked about how you thought Denver was maybe the best team you guys have faced since you joined up. W what does this group need to do um, to get to that level? Um, is it continuity? Is it more of a, a system? What, what do you think? Well, Understanding that who knows what this group right, could exactly. potentially look like. That's what I was going to say. Um, we don't know what our group is going to look like. I think a lot of our guys are free agents, so who knows? Um, no, that's a, it's a tough question. We don't know what team we have next year, you know, but whatever it is, whoever we have, you know, coming to training camp uh, with a mindset of building that chemistry, building that foundation, um, you know, me and Ron setting the tone and trying to get to, you know, back here and further. Uh, you know, I think we're more than capable of doing so. Um, you know, we just got to do it. Did um – Understanding that, like you said, you guys don't do moral victories. Did this season reset any of the realism of, of your guys' championship window for you and LeBron as a duo after, you know, um, a first-round exit and an empty season last year? Um, no, I mean, we still, you know, believe, obviously. Uh, you know, obviously, there's always a window. Um, you don't have too many times where, you know, you compete for championships. I mean, he's lucky he – won eight times in a row in the East. Uh, you know, I have to do a better job of helping him out in that regard um, for myself, my own, you know, self looking into the mirror. Uh, but, um, yeah, we know the window is always small, you know. And, I mean, obviously he's not getting any younger. Um, you know, this is why this was so important, you know, to both of us. Um, and it hurts that we didn't get it done. But, you know, we re – we regroup, uh, figure out ways we can be better, you know, figure out ways I can be better, uh, more consistent for our, for our ball club. And, you know, we come back next year, um, I'm ready to go. Jovan. AD, uh, along similar lines, I feel like there there'd been some public doubt about you and LeBron and, and how far you guys could go as a group with the way the last couple years had gone. Uh, with Obviously, it wasn't – you know, your goal of winning a championship, but making the Western Conference Finals, having the turnaround that you guys had, do you feel like you kind of reaffirmed that as long as we're both healthy, we're a contender, we can go far in the playoffs each and every year? 
Uh, for sure. In the last two seasons, uh, not including this year, um, you know, either I've been hurt or he's been hurt or we both have been, been injured. So, um, you know, for the most part, we were healthy, uh, you know, through the second half of the year. Um, and we were able to, you know, make it all to the Western Conference Finals. Obviously, it's not, like I said, it's not the end goal, but um, we believe that uh, both of us together is a dominant force. Uh, and you plug guys around us, and we can we can make it happen. So, uh, you know, we believe that we don't really look for, you know, any support outside of anybody outside that locker room and in the front office and the organization. Um, you know, we believe, and that's all that really matters. Kyle, here. Can you describe uh, your perspective on the determination you saw out of LeBron? tonight coming out with the high energy determination to score 31 points in the first half, four of four from three, five of five from the line, and all this while he was visibly limping at times. Yeah, um, you know, he came out on fire. He came out, you know, uh, super aggressive, super hot, um, and we kind of just let him let him play. You know, when the guy has it going like that, uh, you kind of feed him, you know, and uh, he kept us in the game. You know, in the third quarter, you know, we only scored 16. I think they scored uh, they scored 36. Um, that's kind of where the game was, but able to get back in the fourth. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's not surprising for me that, you know, he comes out like that. Um, you know, arguably the best player to touch the basketball. So uh, he came out on fire. He came out um, super aggressive um, and kind of kept us in it in the first half. Dave. AD, basically now half your Laker career, you've been on a team winning a championship or, you know, knocking on the door of a championship, and, and then obviously the other times not really close to that. Um, how do you view moving forward uh, into next year? LeBron mentioned only less than a handful of you guys are actually under contract, but sure. there are some options with this group. And um, do you feel like the franchise is in the right place to – have next year be knocking on the door again? Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, coming off of a season of, you know, not making it to the playoffs um, and then come back when didn't really have a chance and making it all to the West Conference Finals, um, you know, we we're definitely trending in the right direction. Um, like I said, we, I, we don't know what the, what the roster looks like next year, but uh, – you know, I think the guys that came in the second half of the season, you know, played well for us and also helped us into this situation. Um, you know, the guys that were here before just kept fighting um, through all the adversity that, you know, we had, you know, starting with a slow start and everything like that. So, um, you know, we're trending in the right direction. Obviously, the goal is to, to win championships, and, you know, we want to be not just knocking on the door but actually get it done, you know, walk through the door. So. Uh, that's our goal. That's our goal every time we step on the floor uh, for training camp. Um, and I'm 100% sure that would be the goal next year. George. AD, a couple of questions ago you talked about how you could be more helpful to Bron or whatnot. Um, you had some incredible stretches, obviously, during this season. What could you do to be more helpful? What specifically do you think you can help and work on this offseason? Um, work on everything. I mean, I never, you know, try to – single out one thing. I mean, I can always get better at everything, you know, shooting a three ball, handling uh, more efficient in the post, uh, mid-range, everything, free throw line. Um, you know, just making sure that I was better than I was last year. Um, obviously, like I said, I know that he's not getting any older. Um, so I have to be that driving force to kind of pick him up some games. And uh, it's games where, you know, that he goes off where he's kind of carrying the team. But, you know, we can't expect for him to do that. You know, for 482, um, and that's where I come into play. So, um, you know, I'm always the guy to look in the mirror. You know, I'm my own biggest critic, uh, and I know it's stretches throughout this season where I could have been better for our ball club. Um, the stretches where I play extremely well um, for our ball club. So, uh, find that consistency where you know it's always, um, you know, playing extremely well. You know, not having those stretches where. Uh, to you guys, I play bad. So. Amanda. Um, AD, just tell me about um, Darwin Ham, just what he done, especially like going through the ups and downs of the season and how helpful he has been in being a first-year coach. 
Yeah, I mean, he always remained positive, no matter what. Um, even when we was in our rough patches, he, he always preached positive positivity. Uh, you know, made sure that we understood that it was a long season. And uh, you, know, you don't find that in a lot of coaches, you know, especially a first-year coach, um, first-year head coach. And um, he helped us do a lot. You know, all the players, uh, new guys coming in, communicating with them about what they want. He's definitely a player's, player's coach. Um, and it's great, you know, first year coach coming into the Western Conference Finals. Um, big time. Obviously, we didn't want it to end that way, but, uh, you know, we definitely have a lot of respect for him in that locker room. Last question. AD, a uh, big part of this series, obviously, was Jokic and just going against him. When he's making shots, like the one he made today, that step back, one leg, three, just what's it like defending him? Obviously, it wasn't just you, but what's it like defending a player like Jokic? Yeah, um, you, know, you tilt your hat to him make those shots, you know. But, uh, you know, he's two-time MVP for a reason. You know, he's a hell of a player, uh, scoring multiple ways. You know, he's not the most athletic, but he has great footwork, you know, around the rim, great touch, um, step out and shoot it, um, great passer. And, uh, you know, he did he did everything for them you know, just to make sure that they won. Um, you know, hats off to him. The other guys play well, and they feed off of him. You know, even when he was – you know, struggling and missing shots. You know, the other guys was, you know, he was getting other guys involved and they were making shots. So, um, it's a great ball club over there and well coached. Um, and they play extremely well against us.